Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the the output characteristic of NPN transistor in LT spice. So you can see here this is very simple circuit. It has one transistor Q1 and you can see the base of this Q1 is injected by the current I1. Okay, so this is current I1. It has got the multiple values okay you can see starting from 20 micro ampere to 100 micro ampere in the step of 20 micro ampere okay so this is about the base and you can see this is emitter is connected to the ground and the collector is connected via a voltage source and you can see here v1 and the value of v1 is like 0 to 15 volt in the step of 10 millivolt okay so if you click on it it's zero so you can see this is dc analysis okay so how will you write this command so this is very useful guys so go at this simulate button edit simulation and you can see here i am doing dc sweep this is dc sweep and the, our first source is v1 okay can you see the first source is v1 the type of sweep is linear start value 0 stop value 15 volt and the increment of 10 millivolt and if you look at the second sweeping source that is i1 and the start value is 20 micro ampere start value is 100 micro ampere with the step of 20 micro ampere okay so you so what we are doing here is basically we are doing the dc sweep we are sweeping the first source like v1 and changing the impact we are also sweeping the second source that is i1 and and we are seeing the effect what happens if you change the value of i1 what happens if you change the value of v1 so this is basically objective so we will look the plot between ic and vc for different value of iv right so let me run the simulation to go at this simulate and run the simulation now you can see okay so you can see different traces here you can see here ic q1 this is operating point and you can see here guys the in this in this x axis you can see the value of vc which starting from let me do like this you can see here the 0 volt to up to here somewhere 15 volt and you can see the multiple values of current starting from you can see here around 4 milliampere to this point around 20 milliampere or 18 milliampere okay okay so you can see if you if you here you see here you are changing the base current from 20 micro ampere 200 micro ampere in the step of 20 micro ampere and you can see the impact of the collector current you can see here it's from 4 milliampere to around 20 milliampere that is how you can do the dc analysis of your npn transfer